Claire Brady reporting there. Now to the radical new treatment helping to make Perth pets pain-free. Tonight we follow the progress of 11-year-old Staffy Terrier Chloe who suffers with severe arthritis. It's a condition that cripples dogs right across the country but as Natalie Bongiolo reports a new therapy is giving dogs like Chloe a second chance. She's had arthritis for years. Arthritis in dogs is a very common disease. Everybody's pretty excited about this very new therapy. It's the answer to pet lovers' prayers, an extraordinary treatment healing arthritic joints using stem cells taken from an animal's own fat. There's no embryos required, nothing at all. Celebrity vet Robert Zamet says the cutting-edge technology is having incredible results. Vets that have tried it are saying it's just been awesome. Eleven-year-old Staffy Terrier Chloe is crippled with arthritis. The mind's willing, but the body's sort of not. Over the years, owner Michael Deegan's noticed Chloe's condition gradually get worse. And she really does walk like a person who's stiff with arthritis. Yeah, well, she's had, she's had arthritis ever since she was a pup. Arthritis affects pets in the same way it does people. One in five dogs suffer with the disease. And it's estimated across Australia, 1.2 million dogs have been diagnosed. That's arthritic and fused up. Chloe's joints are so stiff she hobbles in pain and like all animal lovers, Michael hates to see his best friend suffer. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That looks painful. Yeah. Starting, Hello, girl. Starting to get sore. She's had a Hello, bit of a girl. Walk. Now he's hoping a revolutionary treatment will help cure Chloe of the debilitating disease. And the beauty of it is that we use the animal's own fat cells. There's no donor animal required. The therapy was developed for pets by Australian company Medivet. It's similar to a treatment already being used for people. You can go into day surgery, have some fat removed and then put it, put it into your knee or anywhere it may be. Today Tonight recently showed how doctors are now using liposuction to extract stem cells for arthritis sufferers. You need about a cup of fat. You process that fat down to a teaspoonful of cells and then those cells are injected into the damaged joint or the damaged tendon. G'day, Colin. Good morning, Mike. How are you? This morning, Chloe will undergo a procedure similar to that used in people with vet Dr Colin Sherry. See you, girl. Good luck. Chloe's arthritis is very severe. Certainly her knees will be very sore with that. So this is quite a bad case of arthritis? Absolutely, quite a bad case. X-rays reveal how badly deformed Chloe's bones have become. I'm hoping that she gets a, a bit of... Um, bit of extra pain relief. Yeah, one, two, three. The first part of the procedure is to collect Chloe's blood. Good girl. The blood is spun in a special machine. At high speed, it separates the red cells from the plasma, a natural healing agent, which can repair cartilage, tendon, even rebuild bone. The plasma will then be mixed with fat taken from Chloe's back under anaesthetic. Okay. Oh, she goes. It's what's in the fat that's important, stem cells. Once harvested, they're mixed with the plasma to make a potent potion. And that's into the light activation now for 20 minutes. Back in theatre, Colin injects the mixture into Chloe's arthritic joints. It's her own stem cells that we took from her, that were around her fat and um, putting them back into her joints. Absolutely, so there's no chance of rejection. And all going well, she should be walking better within a few weeks. Absolutely, that's what we're hoping for, out of pain and walking much more soundly on her legs. Chloe goes into the cage to sleep off the anaesthetic and just three hours after dropping her off... Hey, Gil. Dad's back to take her home. Ready for the greyhounds this, this mm, Saturday? Or hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> In the past, stem cells have cost up to $14,000 plus. Nowadays, you can do a patient for about two to two and a half thousand dollars. Until now, the other option was knee and hip replacements, which can cost up to $10,000. Some of the very old dogs, where you're looking to make a decision about them, it gives them a new le lease of life for six to 12 months. When we first saw Chloe, she couldn't even get out of the car. Six weeks later... Oh, look at that. She's a different dog. She wants to go for a walk twice a day now. It's not showing pain now. It's really wonderful. The treatment doesn't always guarantee success, but for some, like Chloe, it's life-changing. As a vet, it's just so wonderful to be able to give these older dogs a new lease of life.
Come on, go. Here you go. Go. Go get it. That's great. Natalie Bongiolo with that story.